no gunshots, but they get in. Hey, what's up guys? Craft Farms here and welcome back to another video. Today we are back on my work in progress map. Uh, so today I'm going to try and get a gas station added as well as a um a uh jeez, totally lost my train of thought here. A bunch of vehicles added here in the dealership. That's what I was trying to get at. There we go. Um, we're going to try and get a bunch of that stuff done. Uh, so first things first, I can delete all these because my roads are just going to continue a very slight little bit farther and then that'll be it. So let's just quick do that. I'm just going to add like three, four roads in yet and then that'll be it for them. Um, I see there's a little bit of a terrain fix needed right there, but. I'm uh, not exactly sure why I put the road like that in the first place. And let's see. So we'll just put this one last piece on here. Perfect. So that's all on that side. And then we'll just do the same over here. We'll add three more. And we got to remove some of this stuff here. So they can see. So there's one. There's two and three. Okay, so now we'll just jump over here to terrain editing. We'll make this be a square. Okay, and actually I want this to be subtract. We're going to jump here and uh, <clears throat> we're going to, let's see, this side's pretty good. Just check this side and that side's pretty good too. So now we'll jump over here. I know that we've got some fixing to do right here. So we're going to start on this side, I think. Oops. Helps to be in the right mode. Okay, perfect. So that side's good to go. Now we'll just fix this side. That looks about good. I'm just going to make this come up just a hair just because this is where it's going to meet the gravel and then the gravel road will continue on the rest of the way okay so now let's get our cynics put in so we're going to go oops it's still on my desktop so as you can see here i did move the map files to my desktop um, making them much easier to access Um, much faster for everything as well. So paste that into town. Let's see, how do I want to oh, probably just put it like that. And change that to 90. 
and we'll put everything right there. Now, for our terrain. Set that to replace, and then... See, is this stuff? No, it's not. So actually, all of this stuff needs to be moved. Some, because it's not actually on the ground. There we go. So I'm just going to adjust everything individually here. Everything that I can anyways. And we're just going to delete. Well, actually we're not going to delete the grass, gas trigger yet. Because I'm going to keep it so that um, when I put the new one in, I can use the... Uh, other one for reference of the size and all that stuff. So that'll sit barely above ground. That'll come down to there. Okay, perfect. So now we just need to get this covered in concrete for the most part anyways. The entrances here are going to be fairly large because of it being a gas station, of course. And, of course, being the only one. Okay, I'm just going to take the visibility off of this for a moment, just to see. Okay, so now I got everything. So then we can deselect that, and we're going to go to, let's see, was it grass? Yeah, I think so. Pretty sure it was grass that I was using here. Yep. So we'll put some grass in this little area here. Set that to subtract. There we go. So now we can make this a little bit bigger. Okay. So then we can grass this area up as well. So now I'm recording this one here on Monday and I'm also going to be recording quite a few other ones so um, basically just going to be doing them one after the other here and then uh, so I'll have a few that I'll record for this week that I'll record at once and then after that it'll all be there will be a big time difference between a lot of it a lot of the rest of it so just figured I'd put that out there
around the gas station. And we'll go along the rest of the road here as well. And get that finished up. Cool. Okay, so now our gas station is in. So now we can jump over here. So now we need to go to the data folder. Actually, I have one. Oh, I didn't need to close that. I do have one uh, over here, which I probably should use a little bit more because it's... Uh, I am less liable to completely mess up my game because this one isn't in the game so it won't uh, it won't interfere with anything so now we just need to decide on items which is going to be the fun part okay that one will work Basically, just need to delete everything that is in here that does not need to be. So if I already... Oh, okay. Yeah, definitely not getting rid of that. Uh, that supports... Okay, so this stuff I can't get rid of, I don't think. Unless there's any, like, nodes or anything, but... It's all going to be okay there. So we'll select this. Um, I want to... Okay, so vehicles. We're going to have eight row corn. So I'm going to do a lot of stuff from in-game, but then I will do a couple of mods that I'll throw in there. Um, and, you know, just different brands and stuff, so... Just to kind of throw some stuff around the edges. So now I need to delete the specular stuff from this. Actually, I should be able to do that from the folder here. Come on. Close. Yeah, I know you have crashed. It's because I clicked X. <laughs> Whatever. I know it stopped working, so close it. Finally. So, specular, specular, specular. That should be all that I need. Now we should be able to open it up and not have it dirty. That is as long as it opens. I'm hoping it'll open. No, it won't. Okay, so I am going to have to use mods then. I know it has crashed. It's always really, really annoying when it does that. Okay, so we can't do that then. Now we gotta figure out a different way to do it. Mods, okay. Um, I wanna try and find a bit of case stuff, of course. So, let's see, I know of some items we could put in there. Maybe I won't put anything in there at all. Except I made it like ginormous. But I could have loading places all across here, all across here, and then some back in there. 
Except it'd look cooler to have stuff there, but... Anyhow, we're going to go ahead and we're going to put some parking over here at the case dealership. Because they need parking. Okay, so we'll put that one there. And I see a little bit of grass spot there yet. So we need parking there and then... That should be all the parking that we need, I would think. Uh, we'll put one on, one at CPS as well, just because. Whoops. There we go. Gotta make sure it's rotated 90 degrees there. So that it is more or less parallel to our building. And it needs to go up just a tad. Perfect. Uh, we don't need one here at the sale barn. People can just kind of park. However. Um, yeah, so that should be about the only place that needs it. What in the world is the viewing distance on this thing? distance 100 okay let's change that to a thousand perfect we'll do that on all of these okay so yeah, I don't think I'm going to put anything in there. I think I'll just have enough load places in there to uh, fill it. So let's go ahead. Let's go to... Um, let's see here. Let's go to... We can delete that folder then. Let's go to this PC, OS install, program files, Steam, Steam apps, common, farm sim 17, data, maps, map 01. Uh, this is Goldcrest. We'll open up Goldcrest and um, we will uh, get a couple items off of here for the dealership and other places like that. Uh, and while that does that, we're going to go over here. Let's see, so we need our dealership triggers. So I think that we'll put like the sell trigger and customize trigger inside here. And then the buy trigger will go in one of these offices, maybe. I'll put it in one of the offices or something. Or just in the middle of the room, too, maybe. I don't know. So we need our buy and sell vehicles triggers. Uh, we need to get triggers for the elevator and for the sugar beet facility. A fuel trigger, a seed, a fertilizer trigger, and then the animals trigger. So we need to get quite a few triggers off of here. Okay, so starting off, let's get this dealership stuff. that I want these yellow pieces too okay so whoa there we go so we're gonna put sell line buy 
shop. Sell by shop. Elevator. Sell. Piler. Sell. And then we need seed line vert. And then fuel. Okay, so we're going to export this to the sell by shop. This is going to be marker. And then this will be the cell. And then this will be the buy. So now I know I think I can change these textures on like these icons as well. So I'm going to look into that. Okay. So now we need the fuel trigger. Wow, that is huge. But I'll be rescaling that anyways to fit. Desktop. Fuel. And then we need an elevator, which is right here. Shoot. Uh, that's not going to be... We're going to have to get that trigger from a different map. Okay, so now I need to figure out if the triggers here and at the... Okay, animal loading trigger dealer. Animal loading trigger cows. So I don't know if these are any different, but I'm just going to get the dealer one for the uh, livestock sale barn and I didn't make a folder for that animal buy okay what did this shaders thing come out of probably sell by shop does it have shaders yes it sure does We need to fix that up and put the shaders folder in here. Boom. Okay. Now let's export this wrong map. File export selection. Animal by. Yes, I want to get the parent tree. Just whatever. Okay. Now over to our farm. There is no seed or fertilizer at the farm. What a surprise. Okay, so that's all that we can get off of Goldcrest then. So now we need to go to the hard drive. Odds and ends, I think is where it's at. Let's go to Upper Mississippi River Valley here. Because I know there's a crop production services place on here as well. So we can uh, use that. Use the triggers from that, and then I think it had seed on it as well. I'm not 100% positive, though, but I think it did. Um, okay, so let's see the ones that we got done here. We can start putting those in folders. So Senex is where fuel is going to go. Sail Barn is where Animal Buy is going to go. Case IH Dealer, Sell Buy Shop. There we go. Well, while that loads, oops, while that loads, let's start getting our triggers brought in here. We'll start off with uh, Senex. Oops. <laughs> Did not need to import a new Senex. Fuel. That's what I needed. Gas station trigger. Cut and paste that over to there. Okay, so now we need our attributes tab.
We're just going to make all of our measurements the same. Or all of our nodes, I guess. So now, one. Okay, so it's got to be bigger than that, we know. Five, bigger than that. Six, how about ten? Nope, still not. How about twenty? Okay, twenty's plenty big, we'll adjust it that way. So four for its height, that's fine. And then 15 for that, that's perfect. Okay, next we are going to do our, let's see, we'll do our sail barn texture, or trigger, and I keep importing the wrong things. Okay, and we'll loading trigger dealer, and we'll put that at livestock sail barn. Okay, and so then we'll move this over to just alongside the building and then move it back to here somewhere right about in. Well, better leave it out because some trailers, I know the trigger on those is in the trailer a little ways. I've had trailers like that, so I'd rather leave it like that. Okay, cool. Here we go. Okay, so we need to get pick two different elevators to get uh, cell points from just because I want to get it from two different elevators to make sure I'm not using the same trigger for anything uh, to prevent any possible issues uh, trigger POS okay so then user attributes and that's okay so that's what I need there Export with files. We'll just go. We'll go with the elevator first since it's at the top. Yes, and then I know there's a couple more across the river here. Oof, da. too fast. Oh, that's an old elevator. Okay, that's kind of neat. Uh, uh oh, please tell me this is the cell trigger. Is there even a trigger in there? Yes, trigger POS. Okay. Uh, piler cell. Yes. Okay. Now we'll go here. Okay, so there is no for, uh, seed. Oh, there is a sewing machine trigger in here. Where's that at? Where did they put a sewing machine trigger? Oh, they made it so that you buy seed over here. Okay. All right. Well, export selection with files to. We're going to go seed vert. So this is seed. Yes. And then we just need the one fertilizer trigger. Well, let's see here. Yeah, we just need the one because then we can just duplicate it. And then that is FERT. Now we should have all the things that we need here now. Yes, we do. So we can go ahead and close this. And get that closed. And then, okay, so elevator cell goes to elevator, you to beat piler, and you to crop production services. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to get these triggers added here quick. And then we'll uh, go ahead and end the video. So we need models town, beat piler, piler cell. Okay, so grain station trigger. So we're going to just copy our coordinates. I guess you could call them that. I don't know. I do just for fun. So now all we got to do is make this thing big enough to fit. Whoa. 
That was way too big. Um, three. That, that'll work. Now three wide. Perfect. That's actually pretty much the same size as the other one. Okay, so now we need to go to our user attributes and we need to change some stuff here. So index, this is going to be, what's the name of this place again? Um, no DAC pilers. That's what we'll call it. So I can't choose what it. Okay, so I can't choose what it. Uh, takes I don't think anyways I'm gonna have to mess with that uh, I need to go to my XML here once because it says something in here about the silo like uh, I'm gonna have to figure that out I'll mess with that later we don't need to do anything with it right now okay next up we're gonna do the elevator So does this already have a trigger in here? No. So we're just going to copy the positioning from here. Okay, we're just going to have to go like that, I guess. And so we want 70. Uh, how about negative 70? Nope. Um, do I need to change these, maybe? Okay, well, let's just try lining this up once. A little bit more, maybe. Let's try 24. Oops. And that'll work. No, a little more. There we go. That works. Nope, not quite. So I want it at 20. Okay, so now we need to make this thing a little bit smaller. Wait, not that way though. Okay, that'll work. Perfect. Okay, so now we got that done. Now we'll do CPS yet, and then I'll do the rest of them uh, off camera here, and finish figuring out what uh, what needs to be changed and added and all that stuff. So there's our fertilizer trigger, and then we need our seed trigger. Okay, so there should be one in here already. Or no, I removed them, didn't I? Yeah, okay. Okie dokie, okie dokie. So first off, let's do our seed one here. Okay, so here's where we gotta get figuring out things whoa definitely not 240 okay so that's plenty big that way and then we'll just move that out to there all right we got a seed trigger now I'm gonna try and get this as close to under here as I can 
like directly under. That should be fine right there. Perfect. So now we're going to go Control D. And we're going to put another one right under there. I'm not going to change the size of these because it's not really necessary. Because they're perfect already. Alrighty, that's going to do it for this video. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the channel. Be sure to subscribe if you like what you see. Be sure to turn on the post notifications to be notified every time I upload a new video. Be sure to check out down below in the description for my PC specs, my upload schedule, as well as links to all of my social medias and some other cool YouTube channels that are worth taking a look at. Thanks for watching, you guys, and as always, we'll see you tomorrow.